You want to talk about manifesting? You can't. God did not create you to manifest. You have absolutely no power of mind to manifest. And what is manifesting? Manifesting but wanting. What did we just say? You want to empty your mind of wanting. You know, more of what? I want to manifest more of this in my life, more of that in my life. Who's doing the manifesting? The spirit or the ego? Let's talk straight here. Is the spirit a manifester? Hell no! The spirit is the I am presence of God and the spirit is not a manifester. You don't have the power to manifest. In the, even in the Course it says, the, the teaching from the Bible, the Word was made flesh. Jesus says, strictly speaking, this is impossible. That's Jesus' words, impossible. You can't manifest. You've never been able to manifest a damn thing. So why work at it? Why try to use the power of your mind to make something different in form when the form is the past? Do you think you can make a better version of the past? Do you think anyone has ever succeeded in making a better version of the past? Do you think you can improve upon illusions when illusions, the very meaning of illusion is nothing? How can you make a better nothing? Really? It's a third grader could, could understand that logic, making a better nothing. So, we're not into the power of manifesting. We're into the power of joy, the power of happiness. And we're really starting to see that, you know, people would say, well, you, how can you live your life if you're not trying to, to improve the world? You know, it's easy. It's really easy to live that way. It's difficult to try to continue to mix metaphors and spiritualize matter. You know, that's what manifesting is an attempt to do. It's an attempt to spiritualize matter. And as we talked about the other day, it just is not possible. And the joy comes from seeing you don't need to compromise. <laughs>